Hello everyone, in today's video I will be showing best habits that changed my life. So before we get into the video make sure you subscribe. So you may be struggling with life or maybe things you would wish to change about it. Well, worry no more because in today's video I will be showing you easy steps to get it done. 1. Organize things. Packing, keeping things organized, and even making the beds help us feel better. It prepares us for visitors, helps us work better, sleep better, and even helps us get along with our spouse and children. It almost goes without saying that it would take two hours up and down every day. And count and win every day? It will not happen. But the simple act of cleaning the house, picking up loose items, wiping up spills, washing the dishes and putting them in the dishwasher can make all the difference. The most important? It keeps us from adding to the confusion, hurting our husbands and children, or getting angry with ourselves. 2. Use your money wisely. One of the most important habits of successful people? This is the philosophy of property managers. The action can be habitual and automatic. If we jump into the mapping process at will, it can quickly spiral out of control and become chaotic. One of the best ways to save money is to take the time to do everything. It can be tricky, but once done, you'll be surprised how much thought you put into it before pulling a card. 3. Choose gratitude. One habit that can really change your mood almost immediately is to consciously change your attitude of gratitude. Overall, successful people are able to recognize and appreciate the good things in their lives. When I was going through a rough time with my girlfriend, a friend suggested I sit down and write down everything I appreciate about someone. Whenever I had a problem or was frustrated, I came back to this list. As silly as it sounds, it really helped. 4. Stay hydrated. We've all heard of the many benefits of drinking water, more energy, clearer skin, and better digestion. Of course, that doesn't mean we always behave. How about making a habit of drinking a glass of water first thing in the morning or drinking more water throughout the day? Instead of seeing eight glasses of water a day as a punishment, think of it as a way to build muscle. Dehydration can leave us hungry, tired, and dehydrated. We overeat, make poor choices, and are less likely to have access to healthy drinks, like soda, when we're dehydrated. Bring a water bottle and fill it up if you can. 5. Plan your days. This is how successful people prepare. They make, and stick to, plans, use daily to-do lists, and use their calendar as a guide to achieving their goals. Find time on your calendar for each activity and write it down. Scheduling time for things like exercise, chores, cooking, and free time might seem silly at first, but once it becomes a habit, it's a great way to get the better of you. Week. The program helps you better manage your time so you can enjoy your rewards and plan for your family's needs. A good habit to develop is to check your calendar and write down your to-do list before you go to bed. You can go to bed knowing you have a plan for the next day and often subconsciously work things out while you sleep. 6. Put your family first. Strengthening family ties and meeting the needs of your spouse and children is one of the most important decisions in any decision. In today's culture, there is a lot of talk about the life you want and me success. We also see unhappy marriages and many divorces. These things aren't always related, of course, but putting someone else's needs before your own really makes a difference. I'm not saying you have to be on the edge or follow your kids' wishes all the time, but I'm saying that with every decision you make, you have to get used to it thinking, will this keep my kids safe, happy, and secure? Will this keep my partner safe, happy, and relaxed, and maintain our relationship? If you ever ask these questions calmly and deliberately before jumping to conclusions, your whole family will benefit. 7. Get up early. I'm way ahead. It doesn't matter that I'm a morning per se, but I find that if I want to accomplish something I've planned to do every day, getting up early gives me time to not start. 
It keeps me moving forward instead of having to deal with family issues and sets the tone and foundation for a good day. Have your cry at the same time every day. Even on weekends. Want to get into the habit of getting up early? If you take the time and back off 10 minutes throughout the week, you'll get up faster in no time. Go to bed at the same time every night and if you need more sleep, go to bed earlier, rather than later. Don't forget tomorrow's progress to move on to another location tonight. Instead, put it off and let your body get the sleep it needs. 8. Prepare to win the night before. Just like getting up early, getting ready before bed helps us see tomorrow. Please put away your clothes tomorrow, even if you are under a curfew at home. And be sure to give them away for a change that day. Pack everything you need for breakfast, lunch and dinner and take it with you in the evening. What takes 10 or 15 minutes to fall asleep can take 20 or 30 minutes between morning and the rest of the day. Under the right circumstances, you also make sure the bags are ready, the keys are on the counter, and everything is there for the future. If you put in the effort and plan for the future, you'll stop making mistakes in the morning. We all know that a lost key can completely ruin your schedule and your morning. 9. Get moving. Successful, happy and productive people are used to living well on a daily basis. That doesn't mean running 5 miles, unless that's your thing, of course. There are incredible benefits to exercising for 10 minutes, walking for 20 minutes, taking more stairs, or parking your car a little farther away when you need to shop for something important. Breakfast can be more. If you're having trouble kicking a habit, there are many programs and services available to help you. Try fitness trackers like Fitbit or 007 Fitness Tracker. Most air conditioners can be set to vibrate every hour or less to remind you to stay active. That doesn't mean you have to do it every hour or so. Just get up, get up for a glass of water or a quick snack. 9. Get moving. Successful, happy and productive people are used to living well on a daily basis. That doesn't mean running 5 miles, unless that's your thing, of course. There are incredible benefits to exercising for 10 minutes, walking for 20 minutes, taking more stairs, or parking your car a little farther away when you need to shop for something important. Breakfast can be more. So thanks for watching. And if you are new, please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications just so every time I upload you won't miss anything.